Hello everybody, my name is Simon Bradwell from EBM Paps in Melbourne, Australia and today I'm going to talk to you about fans in the refrigeration industry. Particularly I'm going to talk to you about fans in the hot side of the refrigeration circuit or in condenser applications. Um, this is the third in a short series of videos that we're making with respect to the refrigeration and air conditioning industry. Um, I want to refer you initially to the This Fan catalogue, which is available on uh, download on our website, also in hard copy from wholesalers and distributors throughout the country. All the fans that I'm going to be talking to you today, uh, the technical information with respect to them are all contained inside this catalogue. I hope you find that useful. Um, secondly, the operating and safety instructions. These come with every fan and I would recommend that everybody takes the opportunity to read through this because there's useful information with respect to the safe application of our fans. Cool, thank you. So, as you can see, I'm surrounded by fans today. Um, again, this is just how we like it. Um, the fans that are used inside condenser applications can range from here on my left hand side from Q motors uh, with aluminium impellers all the way up to fans. This is a 500 millimeter axial fan on my right hand side up to 800 millimeters, 9, 10, 1 meter in size. The motor powers associated with this type of products can range from 5 watts here with the Q motor. Uh, this is a 1.5 kilowatt product all the way up to four kilowatts for the larger product on big condensers. So a range of fans in physical size and a range of fans with respect to power, power used. Um, typically axial fans get used in this, uh, this type of application. Um, for a condenser, normally you require high air volume at low static pressure. Um, therefore, axial fans typically get used. Um, but, what are the main issues with respect to the application of fans inside condensers? Firstly, temperature and secondly, noise. So let's deal with temperature first. Um, typically, the air off temperature off a condenser is higher than ambient, and this has to be taken into consideration when you're selecting a fan for use on your condenser. Um, Often you'll see Q motors like this on my left hand side used in an application where a single fan is used on a small condensing unit. I would not recommend the use of Q motors in this type of application. Q motors, Q motors are shaded pole motors. Inherently they run at high temperature because they, as shaded pole motors they're not very efficient. If you've got a motor that's running inherently at high temperature and then you use it in a high temperature type application, i.e. a condenser, often that can lead to premature failure. We recommend the use of EC products um, because these run at inherently lower temperatures and are more reliable for the type of application. Secondly, noise. So in large applications such as a supermarket, for instance, um, on the roof of the supermarket is where you will find the condenser. There you can find fans from size 500 millimeter up to one meter in size, and you can find multiple fans, six fans, eight fans, up to 24 fans. Um, the issue that you have with this is that this is an external application, and typically supermarkets are, um, are positioned in places where people live. Um, and therefore noise sensitivity to the surrounding, uh, to the to surrounding houses is often an issue. Um, especially when you've got multiple point sources. So in other words, I mean multiple fans, multiple noise sources. So what can we do with respect to that? First of all, I would refer you to our AxiBlade product. Um, and you'll see other videos here on our YouTube site specifically with respect to that product. What we've done there is we've used fluid dynamics to ensure that we've got an impeller design that causes low noise. Um, this design uh, reduces any form of blade passing frequency as well as the inherent noise that you get off an impeller just rotating. What else can you do about it? The second thing you can do to reduce noise is to speed control. If you speed control the product, the fan down, you get a dramatic reduction in noise. And again, you'll find further information on our YouTube site with respect to that. 
The second advantage you get with respect to reducing the noise, especially in the high power type products, 800 millimeter product, which can be a three and a half, 3.6 kilowatt type motor, is that you get a dramatic reduction in power consumption. Power drops according to the fan laws, according to speed to the power of three. Therefore, in these type of condenser applications, the use of EC products, whether it's in small products or in large products, is very common. EC products are axial fans with a permanent magnet motor with onboard electronics such that the product can be speed controlled very simply, either using Modbus, BACnet or a 0 to 10 volt control line. Um, perfect for the application of fans inside condensers. So, in summary today, um, I've, talked to the, I've talked to you with respect to the application of axial fans in the use of condensers where high air volumes and low static pressures are, are concerned. I've raised two issues which are common, one with respect to temperature and the other which is respect to noise and how the application of EC and axial fans in condensers to reduce issues associated with temperature and noise is perfect for the application. So I hope that's been useful. Um, if you need to contact us, please contact us via a website or in the telephone um, in the normal way and there'll be contact information at the end of this. Cool. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much.